Hey guys. Key. Had a cool dream last night. Oh, it puts some more perspective into Christ and his little things he does. It's cool things he does. Anyway, so I'm in the uh, last three days after my big fight. I lasted like a day, really bad fighting. I was stuck in St. Lucian. When Christ told me that's what I go, why am I being brought here again, right? And he, he said, St. Lucian's a town, right, full of people like me. And he goes, it's where unruly people go. It's a town full of unruly people. It means they're like people like me, not, not in the body, but spirits, a town. And it's just... I was there, there's bars, there's coffee shops, guys, girls walking around, but we have issues, right? We go off because shit's not right. So anyway, I don't know, St. Lucian, St. Lucian, that's the name of the town. I like it, tell you the truth. Really nice, I thought. I didn't see no unruly people, but other than me. Anyway... So, I'm there, I'm there, and I had a big fight with Christ. They stuck me in St. Lucian's, and I think I was in St. Jude, St. Jude's, which is another town which is supposed to be nice. I never got to see it, but that's, they told me that's where I was. St. Judy's, or St. Jude's, I can't remember. So, I'm in St. Jude's, I go to bed last night, and I had a pretty good day. I went to bed and fell asleep and it was nice I got to sleep it was really good um, I'm in a dream and all I can remember is there was two monsters from Fallout one was a death claw and it was chasing me and once was one of them uh, big giant bigfoot looking guys I forgot what they're called. If you play Fallout, you know what I mean. The big guys, the big giant muscle guys. And there's one of those that stalk me. And I got a machine gun and I'm trying to kill it. But I'm worried about the death claw coming up behind me. And the death claw comes up to me. Grabs my foot and pulls an egg. A great big giant egg out of my foot. Um, then I'm in another, I turn into another place, right from that, and I'm with a group of people. And it's like, we, we, I was drinking, I was getting drunk. I was in a bar or something, you know, with my friends. And, And we're not we're not all white guys, okay? Just to tell you, like I got black friends, Chinese friends, Polish friends, fucking lots of friends, okay? All different colors, and we always rip each other, okay? We're always ripping each other. So there's a guy. I don't know why I did it, and I, I was influenced by Christ. I know I was influenced by Christ to do this, but I I didn't resist it. I just went and did it because I was like a fucking tired of it. Right? That's. So he goes, somebody in the group of my friends goes, hey, go over there and, and there's, a, there's a, a Pakistani guy sitting at the bar. <laughs> and, and Christ influenced me, I know he did. I know he did. I don't care. Christ is in me, so this is how they do the dreams, okay? So I just want you to do this before you don't fucking label me, whatever you're going to label me. So... One of my friends goes, I don't know who, I never looked down, but we were all hanging out drinking in the bar or something. And my friend goes, why don't you, I dare you to go over there and say, hello, how can I help you? <laughs> like that, right? With that accent they have. Now, and so I go, oh yeah. And he goes, I'll buy you a beer if you do it. So I ran over there. I just, I just ran over it. And I, it was sort of like I was pushed, willed over. That's Christ. Now, what Christ wants to see is I'm not going to do that. I ain't, I ain't, I'm not a jerk, 
okay? And I know he does that because I spent seven years every night having these tester dreams where he influences me to do something bad, but I resist. I say, no, I'm not doing that. Well, tonight I didn't do it, and I consciously knew it, okay? And I consciously knew it. I felt, I'm like, why am I going over here? I wouldn't do that. And so I went up to the guy and I go, hello, how can I help you? Like that, right? And I, with that accent. And <laughs> he's, the guy started laughing, the Pakistani guy, he started laughing. I start, all my buddies were on the floor laughing, right? And I'm getting a beer, we're all laughing. I wake up right there. I wake up and I'm laughing out loud. Like, I wake up in my bed and I'm laughing. Because it was fucking funny, right? I don't know, that's funny to me. Me and my buddies do that all the time, okay? Sitting around a hockey game, drinking beers, just making shit up, having a good time, and we're all different colors, and that's what we do. Okay? That's the way it's been for my whole life. And Christ, I wake up. Christ goes, well, I hope you're happy in your... Uh, he goes, he goes, he goes, that was some nice abuse. I hope you're happy in your self gratification or something like that or yourself something self gratification I don't know. what and I go he goes and I knew exactly I knew it I knew exactly what it was and he was, he was mad at me for doing that and I go you don't get it do you and I go I, I told him I go I go you influenced me to go there and I didn't stop right and he goes it doesn't even matter I'm leaving and he left he, he left out of me so it's like another person leaving me. And I go, I go, dude, that was fucking funny. I don't care. That was funny. We do that all the time to each other. I go, I, can't, I go, I, I go, man, that is funny stuff, okay? I don't care. And he goes, ah, I know you don't care. And I'm going, dude, how many tests have I been through where you did that to me and I passed? You know what? I let this one go. It was funny because I do this all the time on Earth down here in the illusion. Okay, I go all my buddies, all different colors. We always rip each other. I go, do not. I go, don't you ever come down to the illusion and be under the impression that that's not funny. That's the only way you can break the ice between people of different races is to have a good time. I go, you got to smoke a bag and mellow up, man. You got to, like, loosen up. Get yourself a personality or something because that's bullshit. I, he, he's mad at me, right? He's, I don't know if he's mad. I don't think Jesus gets mad or anything. He's upset, pissed off, whatever. So I'm trying to explain. I go, I go I'm go. i thinking of examples I can give him. I go, okay, Chris Rock. I'm like, well, Chris Rock comes to mind. That guy's funny as hell. He's ripping on white people. I'm laughing at it. I go, how about Red Fox, Sanford and Son? He's ripping on white people, Spanish people, other black people. He rips on everybody. And everybody's laughing because it's fucking funny. I go, I go, don't you get it? I go, I go, you know what? I go, Christ, listen to this. We can all walk around pretentious, acting like we got no racism and nobody rips on each other. I go, I don't know if this is right or wrong. But we can all walk around being pretentious, like no one's going to rip on each other and walk around like a bunch of like a stoners, you know, like good suburban white people on Valium all day long, you know. I go, and when the shit hits the fan, guess what's going to happen? The world's going to go ballistic. You're going to, I go, you know, when you meet another person, or even if you do meet another person of another color, that is just breaking the ice, ripping on each other, okay? If everybody walks around without ripping on each other, and I'm not saying this happens all the time, but you make fun of each other's cultural shit because everybody in the fucking illusion knows it's just bullshit, and that's how you get to know each other, by ripping it. You know, it's not bad. You don't got to kill each other. And I go, if you don't do that, it's like a stress relief all the time. By ripping on each other, having a laugh, getting all their day. You know? I go, yeah, there is a fine line. But if it's done from your heart, if it's done from your heart, it's innocent. It's just having a good time. If it's not done. I go, that was, when I said that, 
it was not it was, it was done from my heart from a good place it wasn't malicious and invict invictive and venom okay it wasn't done out of hate it was done out of the spirit of having a good time and I go that's how it's always done with me anyway and all my buddies so he goes and goes and I go do you ever order a pizza from across the street or a block away and he goes no and I go yeah I go you dial the pizza you, you, for delivery which is a block away and you gotta call it Pakistan which is 8,000 miles away to order a pizza and I go that's why we do it because it's fucking funny it's stupid it's so stupid it's funny and that's why we do it and I go it's the same goddamn thing because I don't hate the guy because he's a Pakistani I hate the guy I don't hate the guy at all oh Jesus Christ it's hard to say you just do it because it's funny and it's done out of the spirit of having fun and he's still pissed off and he goes well he goes it's still abuse and you shouldn't do it and I'm like I go don't ever come to earth I go don't ever come to earth join a sport go out just sit in your house with all your white people and walk around and look at each other and think you're all that guy you cannot do it you can't do it you're fake if you do that you're a fake person and I go I ain't fake right I go over there, and if you can go over there and talk to another person of color, and it's all cool, you feel it, you're good, you're having a good time. But if you walk around pretending that that's not an issue, when it is an issue in your head and in his head, and, well, I'm talking to a white guy, what's everybody going to think of me? I'm talking to a black guy, what's everybody thinking of me? But you don't ever express it, you don't ever rip on each other, you never break the ice, you never have to talk to open up your fucking heart, open up both your hearts and your social communication. You're never gonna you're never gonna achieve that. It's just two people walking around, two stiffs walking around pretending, fake and pretentious. I go, that's not me, I'm never gonna fucking do that. And I go, you can throw the throw me down in the hell pit, fire, I don't care, or whatever. That's the way it is. And I explained all this to him. And uh he was still going on. Other people are yelling, my kids are yelling, everything's going on. And then he goes, I could feel a pull. Someone was pulling me. All of a sudden, this is where it got really interesting. So I'm still having this thing. I go up. All of a sudden, the other Christ, way up in the light, number two light or first light, he pulls me up. I'm like traveling for like a minute. I get up there, and he goes, Richard. And, he, and I go, yeah. And he goes, he goes, so what's going on now with the issue there? And he goes, and he knows, and he goes, he goes, he goes, do you, I go, he, what's, he goes, what's your position with this, with what's going on with you and Christ about me saying that to the Pakistani guy? And I said, you know what? I go, down here on earth, that's how I interpret it. And I go, up here in heaven with Christ, I don't know. I don't know. So there you go. I go, it's, Two extremes, man. I don't know. I don't get it. And he goes, okay, that's good enough. And then he sends me back down. I'm like, what the hell was that all about, right? He takes me all the way up in the light. And he starts sending me back down. I don't know how far I went down. And he goes, I'm putting you here. And all of a sudden, he went, he just waved his hand at me. Like that. But he was way up high. And he waved his hand at me. And all of a sudden, boom! And my voices, the energy in my head was screaming with voices. All, my, all the voices were going off. So I had Christ still talking, Christ people, my wife and the kids are all talking, and a buzzing in my head from the energy. They're all talking to me. Christ is talking. He's still yelling at me. I can't believe he said that. That, 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 that Pakistani guy. I'm like, Jesus, come on, man. Don't ever go out. And I'm like, all of a sudden, he waved his hand, and my head. I'm in a gray world, and it's gray. I'm looking. I'm laying in bed, and I'm looking, and it's all gray. I go, where am I? And, he, and the high Christ said, you're going to dream now. 
I'm like, cool. I'm laying there for like, I'm just looking around. And he goes, what do you see? And I go, it's gray. I go, it's gray matter. I go, and I thought, well, I go, this is like neutral color. So in art, you for like uh, primer, primer gray, you paint a picture on primer gray, right? You paint your car, but you got to prime it gray, that type of thing. This is what I'm like, you're going to do something with my brain. He goes, you're going to dream now. And so I took, I'm thinking, it automatically it hit me. And I go, have I been here before? And he goes, nope, you've never been here before. And I'm like, okay. I don't remember it. But when I when I do my airbrushing and stuff like that, I always use primer gray or white. <coughs> and the best thing was, I could hear Christ, but I couldn't hear any of the other people talking. And the noise went away. Which I thought was just wow. I, I'm just totally silent. And I'm in this gray, and it's around me, around my head. Like, that's all I see. It's like I'm in a world of gray. And he goes, You're gonna dream now. And I go, I'm gonna dream, and you're gonna. And it's like I'm painting a picture for you to see, right? And he didn't say nothing. And I go, That's what it is. I can feel it. And I go, Just because you brought up dreaming. You brought up the dreaming part. I'm going to dream and you're going to be able to see it. It's sort of like watching TV or something like that. And uh, he goes, just go to sleep. And I'm like, all right. So I laid there and I started laying down. And I go, well, I'm going to shoot zombies. So I brought up a machine gun. And I'm looking through the city streets for zombies to shoot, right? Before I go do my zombie life in my fantasy or whatever I shoot zombies like in a walking dead to put myself asleep <coughs> and save dogs and things anyway so I'm walking through this fucking nuked world looking for zombies I don't see nothing I'm walking through and I got a machine gun and I'm looking for zombies and all of a sudden the gun disappears and I'm in I'm in the woods, and there's this big giant truck going by, and uh, a big giant truck. And it's got a missile on it, a big truck, and it's got a missile on it, and it's like ICBM written on the side or something, right? And all of a sudden. My inner, my inner self goes, oh, oh, cosmic sparkles are coming. The cosmic sparkles are coming. And I can hear the kids far away going, what's cosmic sparkles? What are cosmic sparkles? And he goes, radiation, radiation, right? <laughs> and uh, the cosmic, cosmic sparkles are coming. And uh, I'm laying there. And then I see the ICBM go by, and all of a sudden, as soon as it goes by, the gray went, it grayed, it started shrinking, and it shrunk right down. And as it passed my eyesight, it was like a box shrinking in my head. And it went down into my subconscious, like right down into my spine, <laughs> like a box, it went right down into my spine. And then another one started. And I kept seeing uh, different kinds of nukes and bombs and missiles and, and satellite laser machines and from satellite and guns and bullets and not guns. But, and as I'm seeing this, these boxes of gray keep shrinking with the, with the pictures. So it's like I'm dreaming in this box and it's being sucked into my spine or the back of my spine back of my brain where my spine is and it did like about five times and it felt like my head was gonna pop but then finally it ended finally I didn't have any more visions dreams I had it went in like five or six of these things went in carrying my dream okay and then I was in the box again and I'm laying there and I'm watching this and I'm going wow and I'm thinking, are they going to take these boxes out of my head, which are like seeds now, like little tiny information seeds, and they're going to open them up somewhere so they can watch? And I'm going, wow, I bet you. 
And the feeling I get, I was getting was, what are they going to do with these boxes? Why are they putting me in, put, putting them in me? Because I already know this stuff. So what it was, it was like a box, a recording box of my dreams. And it shrunk down into the back of my head. And they're going to take them out later, put them in. I don't know what they do with them. Maybe they pop them for pills and have a dream. I don't know. Or they just open it up and watch my dream of my answer that I'm not a racist you know so what the first the initial thing was was machine gun to an ICBM which was my version of saying of saying hello how can I help you <laughs> right to real racism you know beating someone of another color beating their skull in just because they're that color those are the two extremes, okay? I'd never do that. Actually, I I go out of my way and probably end up dying to help another person be him a different sexual orientation or another color. I would probably end up beating the hell out of the other guy and risking my life to save his just because that's what I do. And I, and I have done it in Windsor. So, I haven't died, but, you know, you come to help other people in defense right that's what you do I've done it here in Chatham I'm in the mall there's a guy beating up his girlfriend like beating her in the head against the wall everybody in the mall is standing around going ooh, 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 wow that's something to see I run over there throw the guy off her I'm getting ready to kick his ass she gets up and starts beating me in the head I'm going lady you better back off and the security came broke I'm like, what the hell is she beating me up for? And that's some psycho shit. Okay, but what do you do? You don't know. You just get the hell out of there. So, okay, continue. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to let him beat her face off, right? Not my watch. Not while I'm here. I figured I could handle the situation, and I did. I threw him off, stopped the fight, but she started beating on me. So it's like she wanted it. It's like this how they get off or something. I don't know. Some psycho shit. But, you know, live and learn. But the two extremes was a gun to an ICBM missile, okay? That's, when I made fun of the Pakistani guy, it was from a good place. It's like buddies ripping on each other, okay? It wasn't an ICBM overkill. And I think the Earth needs a lot more of that, as far as I'm concerned. I got black people ripping on white guys. It's funny. I'm laughing. It's all from a good. It's all from a good place. We'll have a good time, man. That's all I gotta say. And I do it. They do it. My Polish buddies do it. Indian buddies do it. My North American native buddies do it. And that's what we do. We have a good time sitting around drinking beers, ripping on each other. And it's all done from a good place. There's no venom. There's no. There's no spite, there's no hate. Jesus Christ. And when you get to that place in a relationship, you got a buddy. You got a friend. Where you don't take each other so goddamn serious. And the whole world's got to do that. You got to lighten the fuck up. And then, but Christ had an issue with that. So anyway, that was my night. And I woke up. And I had the box in my head still, the gray, still there floating around in it. I don't know what's going to happen next. But because of that little issue I had with the lower Christ on level three or four, I was brought up to the higher Christ. He wanted to know, and they're trying to heal me, right? They're trying to heal me, and I'm doing pretty good, except for that big fight I had the other day about everything. And... Now, then I had the, the gray, the gray box I was in, which is like neutral, primer, and uh, they came into my head, and I think they take them out and resolve that issue. So, the Christ wanted to know what the answer was to, because Christ down there was saying that was abuse, okay? And I'm saying, no, you got your ticket out of context. I go, this is life in reality. And if you can do this in reality, 
out of a good place in your heart and, and rip each other, then you're, you're a cool dude, as far as I'm concerned. That, I go, without that, without you being able to rip each other and laugh it off, different people of different colors, I go, I go, you know what? We're all going to get nuked. Basically, you're going to beat the shit out of each other and you're going to hate each other because of all that pent up bullshit. But if you're ripping on each other and you become friends, fuck. That's the way you want it to be. And I go, I've never gotten in a fucking big racial fight ever. Ever. Not over anything. So, I must be doing something right. And I go, it works. It works for me and all my buddies. And I go, people who rip on each other don't take it seriously. Go out and have a beer, sit around, hang out, trust them with your shit, trust each other with your shit, you know. Because that's the way it is, man. It takes, you know, it's a lot better than getting in a goddamn fight as soon as you see each other. Right? That's, you know, that's my way. I don't go out and do it all the time. I barely do it at all. But back in the day when I had lots of friends to hang out with, I still got the friends, by the way, just because I'm not sitting there. They all got, they all got married and had babies and got to take care of them, so I didn't. So I don't hang out with them anymore. But when, you know what I mean? Fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, later, guys. So that's just a little Christ consciousness experience and update. What's going on? Oh, one more thing. I got two minutes. So I was I was knighted, knighted, and I was thinking about being knighted and how I got this suit of armor. I you know I don't wear it. They got it in storage or whatever. So when I die, I can take it, do something with it. But I remember the Christ who had all the armor, and I met him like two months ago, a month ago. I actually, made a little bit of a video about it, and. Uh, he had like 20 armors on his wall. Or like, I don't know, 20, up to 20, somewhere in there, 10 to 20. I didn't see them all, but they were all different colors and they all different kinds. And I'm going, wow, you got a lot of armor. And, I, and uh, he's like, yep. And I go, you collect them? And he goes, yep. And I go, I'm like, cool, right? And that was as far as we went. But then I got knighted and I got my armor and I realized Every time you get armor, you earn armor. You earn a, you earn a suit of armor it's by doing some sort of sacrifice thing, sort of like inner light points, but with Christ you get a suit of armor. So there you go. I thought that was cool. And the Christ I saw, I was in his uh, castle. He has a castle, and uh, he has his room in his castle. It's really nice in there. It's like a man cave, and. Uh, he had all his armor done, set up with swords and everything. Really cool. So, get your armor. Later, guys.